Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading is Colossians chapter 1, verses 1 through 9. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ who are at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you, since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love which you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven, of which you previously heard in the word of truth, the gospel, which has come to you just as in all the world also. It is constantly bearing fruit and increasing, even as it has been doing in you also since the day you heard of it and understood the grace of God in truth, just as you learned it from Epaphras, our beloved fellow bondservant, who is a faithful servant of Christ on our behalf. And he also informed us of your love in the Spirit. For this reason also, since the day we heard of it, We have not ceased to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Today's scripture passage includes a life-changing prayer written by Paul to the believers at Colossae. Here's what makes this prayer so powerful. Every request is in agreement with God's will. In verse 9, Paul asks that the Colossians be filled with knowledge of what the Heavenly Father desires from His children. The way this happens is by spending time with God, talking with Him, reading His Word, and seeking His will. It includes His general purposes for all of us who are believers, such as loving Him and people, as we read in Luke chapter 10, verse 27, as well as His specific plan for each of us. See Ephesians 2, verse 10. Paul knew that to apply what we learn, we need insight and clarity, which come from the Holy Spirit. So he asked God to give the believers at Colossae spiritual wisdom and understanding. But this is also a request we can make for those who don't yet know Christ. After all, it's not God's desire for any to perish, and people need to receive from the Holy Spirit the spiritual understanding required to come to faith. Our Heavenly Father has promised that those who pray in agreement with His purposes will receive what they ask. Therefore, it's important to start by discovering what His plans are. Try incorporating scriptural prayers, like the one from today's passage, into your conversations with the Lord. 